Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I decided to do a top 5 series of videos and basically I just share with you guys some of my top 5 favourites in um, the range of makeup products that I have. So my top 5 foundation products, my top 5 concealer products, lipsticks, blushes, bronzers, powders, brushes, tools etc. So yeah, um, I hope you guys would find this useful. I haven't been buying anything new lately so I thought I would just share with you some of my holy grail um, go-to products. So I decided to begin with talking about my top 5 favourite foundations and number 1 on my list is actually my latest um, Laneige BB Cushion that Deo bought for me and I've been using this almost every day. I absolutely love it. This is my favourite go-to product and it's the hype now to use BB cushions but Laneige to me is the best and you can see how dirty the puff is already the one it comes with so I love the fact that it comes with a mirror and then um, this puff is used to apply the product to your face so you just press it down and then get the product on and then you just dab it and pat it all over your face and it blends absolutely smoothly and well and um, I've been using it so often that um, I'm going to have to replenish the sponge inside and the great thing is when you pick this up at any Laneige boutique, um, you do get an extra sponge um, refill for the foundation. So yeah, um, the Laneige BB Cushion in pore control um, comes with SPF 50+, plus, PA++++ plus plus plus, and the shade I'm in is the number 23 Sand Beige. So this is really great for everyday wear, um, it has medium to high coverage and it smells really awesome. And then ranked number 2 on my top 5 foundations is my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I think this is the top foundation for many YouTube gurus and yeah, um, it just... it. It works. It's high coverage, easy to apply, super blendable and I usually use a brush with this so just one pump is enough to cover my entire face and if you want a little bit more high coverage because you might be doing a photo shoot or going outdoors for the entire day then maybe just two pumps will do. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I just use this without any concealer and it helps to control the oil on my face really well and it's really moisturizing as well feels really lightweight even though it's high coverage so yeah very pricey though in Singapore I'm not sure how much it is in US and UK but NARS is very pricey here in Singapore so yeah I only use it for special occasions my third favorite foundation is a drugstore product and it's the L'Oreal Latin True Match Foundation. I think a lot of you have seen me use this in my tutorials before and it's the super blendable foundation. My shade is in G3 Gold Beige and yeah, I absolutely love this. Um, you can see how dirty it is in the cap because I've been using it for quite some time. Um, and some of the foundation does coagulate at the top sometimes because I'm so lazy to wipe it off. But yeah, this is basically my holy grail um, drugstore foundation. So um, if you're on a tight budget and you need a new foundation, I recommend you guys to get the L'Oreal Latin True Match Foundation because it's really great. Um, it has SPF 17, PA++. And yeah, one pump goes a really long way. So that's the top drugstore foundation there in my top five. And then my fourth um, favorite foundation is actually the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. And the reason why I love this, even though it's quite pricey for such a small amount, is because it's really easy to travel with. It's really lightweight. It smells really nice. And um, the only thing is just remember to shake it before you use it. And it's easy to control how much to apply to your face because it's like you drop out the amount of liquid foundation that you need and then blend it either with your fingers. I like to use my fingers to blend this foundation out. You can also use a brush or a sponge. Um, using a beauty blender is also great to blend out this foundation. And yeah, um, I guess the thing about using Chanel foundations um, is that it makes you feel very luxurious. It makes you feel like you're putting your face through a spa, if you get what I mean. So if you're going for any weddings, or if you're attending any huge like dinner, award ceremonies, whatever it is you're attending, so long as it's important, you know, you want to make yourself feel like you dressed up that night, then I would say invest in one good, simple, high-end foundation that you can keep in your purse because it's so easy to bring along. 
So yeah, I bring this whenever I travel because it's really handy and it's really easy to bring, bring around. And then that brings me to the last of my top 5 foundations. And um, some of you who have watched me for some time would know that I love the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I got the brown packaging one. This is the... SPF 20 oil free one. Uh, they also have the range and the silver packaging one, or, or is it white? But yeah, I absolutely love this brown packaging one. Um, it smells like sunblock when you apply it. It's really creamy and um, liquidy when you apply it, so it's very easy to blend. Uh, the only thing is, this does not give you a matte look. So if you are going for a matte look, um, I would suggest either the, the Laneige one or the NARS one. Uh, but yeah, this does not give you a matte look. This um, is kind of like, it's like applying tinted sunblock on your face, if you get what I mean. Um, yeah, so I do definitely have to powder this down because it does not really control the oil on my face that much. It is really great for coverage. It's really lightweight and it smells really gorgeous. The shade I'm in is Bisque. And yeah. Um, I do have combination to oily skin, so uh, all these products work for me. Um, if you have the same skin type as me, then it should work for you as well. And do remember that I do live in Singapore and it is a very humid, hot climate. It's a tropical climate. We're right next to the equator. So if you're living in a dry country or where the seasons are changing all the time, this may or may not work for you. But these are my top 5 favourite foundations. And I would really love to know what are your top 5 favourite foundations. So do leave them in the comments down below. And if you have any recommendations for me to check out, high-end or drugstore, I would love to hear them. And yeah, I hope you have found this video useful. And stay tuned to my next top 5. See you guys again soon. Bye!